Little Giant Adventures Kiefer and the Tiger Lizzie, the pannier tank engine, was enjoying her new life on the island of Sodor. Thomas, Aaron and Kiefer had made her especially welcome on the Farquhar branch line and she was soon popular with the other engines. Even Duck the Great Western Engine was delighted to know that another pannier tank engine was on the Fat Controller's railway. Whether she was pulling coaches or trucks, Lizzie was a wonderful sight. She was always there for the other engines and would support them if they had any problems, as Kiefer did one summer's morning. Lizzie had just returned after taking coal trucks to the other side of the island when she found Kiefer looking rather worried in a small shed. Is everything all right? she asked. Not really, replied Kiefer. The Sodor Wildlife Park has reported their tiger has escaped. Tiger? asked Lizzie. It's a wildcat, Kiefer explained, orange with black stripes. It could be anywhere. Oh no, cried Lizzie. I hope it'll be found. So do I, replied Kiefer. Mr Marley, the head keeper of the wildlife park, has asked all the engines to try and find it. Kiefer then told Lizzie about the time that Thomas had encountered an elephant that had also escaped from the wildlife park. I'll be on high alert, Lizzie promised. Kiefer was grateful. He went to collect his trucks from the yard and set out onto the main line. Kiefer soon found himself through Henry's favourite forest, but he was rather surprised to find a rather shaken up James as he turned the next corner. What's the matter with you? Kiefer asked. Something's growling at me in there, said James, and I don't think it's a deer. Honestly, James, said Kiefer, will you ever stop these pranks? I'm being serious, said James. Listen. So Kiefer did. And sure enough, a faint but small growl could be heard within the trees. I don't like the sound of that, said Kiefer worriedly. Then he and James jumped as the trees slightly rustled, as if something was about to come into the clearing. Kiefer and James were quite surprised when a small orange and black striped cat came into the clearing. That must be the tiger that escaped from the wildlife park, Kiefer exclaimed. That's a tiger, spluttered James. He was still rather shaken up from the ordeal, but looking at the size of the tiger, he calmed down immediately. That thing's no bigger than the station master's cat at Wellsworth he exclaimed. Well, it can't stay here, Kiefer said. We must inform Mr Marley at once. Quite right, Kiefer, agreed his driver. There's a cabin not too far ahead with a telephone. I'll call Mr Marley. Kiefer's crew went down the line. Kiefer did his best to guard the tiger cub, while James continued to stare in admiration. In all honesty, he had expected something a lot bigger than what was standing before them. Before long, Kiefer's crew returned. Mr Marley is on his way, said Kiefer's fireman. And indeed he was, accompanied by Lizzie and the Fat Controller. Well, Kiefer, the Fat Controller said, you've certainly proved yourself to be a tiger hunter today. James had some involvement, sir, Kiefer said. James blushed. So that's a tiger cub, exclaimed Lizzie. Oh, it's so adorable. Its mother will be happy to see it back at the park safe and well, added Mr Marley, gently stroking the cub behind the ears. Lizzie had brought a small truck to take the cub back to the park. I think you've earned your stripes today, wouldn't you say so, Kiefer? chuckled James. Kiefer just grinned. Thomas dealt with an elephant not too long ago, he chortled, but I'd never thought I'd come across a tiger in Henry's forest.